welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some new products from Milani Cosmetics. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so some of these products are ones that I have had for um, quite a while now. But I also ordered some new products from Milani that I want to share with you guys that I absolutely love. Um, the first thing I have to share is the Milani Conceal Imperfect uh, Foundation. This is one of my holy grail foundations. It is so good. It just has the right amount of coverage. Well, it's it's pretty full coverage, and it but it's not matte. It's very glowy, and usually I don't like super glowy foundations because I tend to have redness show through those types of foundations, but this one completely covers, and it gives you a great glow, so I love using this one. I've had the shade 01 Creamy Vanilla for a while, um, but funny story, in Target, this is the lightest shade they had, and it was kind of really dark for me. I can literally only wear this one when I have a tan. But I uh, recently ordered the shade Light Natural, um, shade zero, 00, and this one's perfect. It's what I have on today, and it, as you can see, looks pretty good. So, um, and the next thing I have is their highlighter. This one is in this shade, Summer Glow. It is a nice, um, it's like a gold, very pale golden undertone. It is absolutely beautiful. I have this one on as well, and it is just, I think it's a wonderful, if you're, um, I think it's a wonderful highlight for skin tones if you're about my shade or lighter or even a little bit darker. It, um, it's just wonderful. It's not patchy. It doesn't go on super chunky or anything. It's very smooth and I applied quite a lot of it today. I mean, as you can see, I'm a little bit glowy. Um, but I really love this one. It, I really can compare this to like my Becca, um, highlighters that I have. It's, it kind of, it just reminds me of those opal and I guess Champagne Pop has um, the golden undertones too, but it's this one's a little bit lighter than Champagne Pop if you have that one. It, um, it'll it suit your skin tone better if you are a little bit more light. Um, the next thing I have is something that I have had for a while. It's the Baked Blushes by Milani. These are absolutely beautiful. I have this shade on my um, face. Pretty much all the products I'm going to be mentioning today I have on my face. Um, it's the Bellissimo Bronze and at first I thought this one's going to be way too dark for me because it is kind of a deeper shade. It has these like golden flecks in it. It almost looks like glitter and usually that would turn me off but this one if you just go in with a light hand and dust it on your cheeks and I actually do a buffing technique with my um, with my foundation after I set my face and put my bronzer and my powders on I go back in with a, tran a pressed translucent powder and I like to buff all over with the powder it sounds crazy but it works I've done a few tutorials on my page if you want to see me do that um, just go back to some of my videos but I buff it all in and that that kind of takes away the glittery sheen of some of these products whenever I do that um, but this is absolutely beautiful I thought it was gonna be too dark for my skin tone but I think it looks really amazing you can't even I don't know if it's picking up in camera that I even have on blush but it blends really well with my bronzer so that's what I love about it so for the next products I want to share are these Milani Amour liquid lip creams there we go I have four shades in these and they are absolutely gorgeous the first shade I have is the shade adorable this is my bridal pink here let me just <laughs> so I don't get it on myself um this is my bridal pink that I use I absolutely love this shade it is the perfect cool tone nude pink I I'm wearing it on my lips today it goes with warm tone eye looks cool tone eye looks pretty much any eye look I can wear it with it is absolutely beautiful the next shade I have is the shade let's see is the shade precious and I like to use this one for brides as well. It's a little more deep, um, but this is more for like my brides in the springtime who want a little bit more of a pop of color on their lips. And um, it's, these are so pigmented and they stay on all day. They dry down pretty mad. I have a gloss over mine today that I'll talk about in a second. Um, that's why my lips don't look as matte. But um, the next shade is Loved. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell as well, but this one comes out looking more on the red side to me. Of course it does have a pink undertone, but I like to actually wear this one in the fall when I'm not going for something as bold and I just want a nice color. I don't know. Anyway, and the next one is definitely a fall color. It's called Covet and it is an absolutely beautiful bold brown shade. There you go. 
This one is great to wear with some neutral eyes in the fall. It, um, there it is there. I really don't know how to describe this color. It is just, I guess just super brown. I can't tell if it has red undertones, purple undertones. I don't know, but it, I have nothing in my collection like this. And it is just absolutely beautiful. And I tend to wear it all the time, so, in the fall. The next thing I have to share is a lip product. And this one I did just uh, order. It's a Hypnotic Lights. Um, holographic lip topper and y'all I hate this <laughs> I hate to say that but it is so glittery and it gets all over my face I put it all over um, the shade that I put on today adorable I put it over that shade adorable and it just looked it was literally giving me like 90s frosted lips vibes because it was so shiny and glittery so I went ahead and I put um, the liquid lipstick back over it to try to blend it and it just I tried to save my lips I think they look pretty good now but this just just has so much glitter I don't know I'll see this I don't know if you guys can see that but it it has so much glitter on it it's it looks really pretty on camera right there but like I said it's very pigmented with the glitter it's like it's not color that's pigmented, it's just straight glitter, so it just looks like a layer of glitter on your, anyway, I digress. This just did not work out for me. And for the next product I have is the Milani iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. I don't know, let's see. We'll hold that up there for you. Um, this one's pretty good, it is so black. I actually, it's a little bit sharper, I guess, in my tattoo liner by Kavon D, but can you see how black that just washed? I mean, here, I'll do a better one for you. I mean, hello girl. It is pretty intense. I don't know. I I love it. I used it today to blend my lash line and it did a great job. I can get the thinnest of lines with this or I can make it really thick. It's easy to create a wing with this stuff. I, I definitely recommend this. The last thing I have to mention is the new palettes that they just released is the Milani Most Love Mattes. They came out with this one and one other one. Oh my goodness you guys. I don't know if you have tried this or if you're looking to buy it. but. I definitely recommend this palette. It is what I have on my eyes today. I created this look and I actually did a little Instagram mini tutorial. Um, if you guys want to check out my Insta Instagram, I'll put that right there for you. <laughs> but um, this, these blend like a dream. They are so pigmented. They do have a bit of uh, fallout, but I don't mind that. If they blend well and if they are pigmented, I don't mind fallout. Of course, it does make your products not last as long because, of course, all the products kicking back up and you use more of it. But it's just an amazing palette. This is the second time I've used this today and both times they have just blended like a dream. I think it actually my last video, this is what I had on my eyes. Um, but yeah, th this is amazing. It's twenty dollars, and they actually have a. It might they might still be running this special. I'm not sure, but they have. Um, it was like fall fifteen was a discount code I used, and I got fifteen percent off. So for under twenty dollars, this I compare this with my high end eyeshadow palettes, and I usually don't buy drugstore palettes. Whenever I first started out doing hair and makeup. Drugstore just wasn't as amazing as it is now, and so most of my eyeshadow palettes were high end. But now, drugstore is killing it. Milani, good job. I love this palette. So, guys, that's all I have today for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do like videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below or any type of video you want to see. I like to do tutorials, and last my last video I actually catered more towards makeup artists and people in the same industry as I am. So, whatever you want to see on my channel, please let me know it and sound off in the comments below because you guys are my audience. I want to please you, so please let me know. And I absolutely love making videos. This whole new journey of YouTube for me has just been so exciting. And I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do, but I really do. So um, just let me know what you guys want to see. And I thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel. I thank you so much. You guys mean the world to me. And if you are new to my channel and this is the first video that you've seen of mine, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs thumbs up if you did enjoy it and to subscribe for future content because I try to upload at least once a week. Lately it's been twice a week so I'm going to try to keep that up and hopefully it can just increase as I get more used to making videos and all that fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I hope you have a wonderful day. For these Milani Amore Lack Lackwood Lackwood lipsticks y'all. Amore Lack Lackwood. I did it again! Girl, we gotta get these shades off my arm. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have a swatch tattoo for like.